Good evening. Hello, everybody. Hi, Good Domingo. Evening. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, Domingo. Alexander Gonzalez. Hello, Carlos Walberto Rodriguez. So when I love music. Yes. <laughs> <Good> music. yes. <laughs> nice music. <laughs> is that from I mean is that uh, from you, Domingo? Excuse me. I mean, do you have that music? Are you playing that music? Ya no se escucha. No, not anymore. <laughs> okay. Well, guys, it's time to start our class. How are you today? Hello. Fine teacher. Fine, fine, fine teacher. Hi teacher. Very well. Okay, Very good. guys. Yeah, Very that's busy. good. That's the attitude. Very good. Did you already have dinner? You do it something? Yes. Oh, okay, Ready. that's important. It's important that you have taken your dinner before class so that you have energy. <laughs> okay. Um, well, we have to start with the, with the attendance. Marco says that it's raining out there. Yeah, like these evenings, it has been raining very hard everywhere. When I was coming home, it was raining very hard and the traffic is more difficult when it's raining. But thanks God we are here, we are alive and we are in the English class. So let's start. Okay, so let's begin with Alba Dinora. Present. Excellent. Okay, still loading. Give me a second, guys. Okay, Alfredo Alexander Rodas. Ahí puso preso en el okay. chat. Carla Maritza Sánchez Mesa. Present. Carlos Gualberto Rodríguez. Carlos, Cristina Romero, present, thank, present. You. thank you, thank you, thank <laughs> you. Romero, Domingo González, present. Fátima Portillo, José Matías Lemus, present. Karina Espinosa, Marco David Velázquez Vázquez. Present. Wow, yeah, we can hear the rain. Oh, Marlon Cardona Valencia. Present teacher. Mauricio Majano. Maiteli Judith Díaz. 
Nancy Rodriguez. Katia Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Salvador Edgardo Escobar. Sandra Yamilet Velázquez Beltrán. Víctor David Salazar Calzadilla. No están Sandra ni Víctor. Ok, Walter Daniel González. William Eduardo Pérez. Tampoco. Okay. Thank you guys. Okay. Thank you. So let me share. Oh, I have a lot of. <laughs> Marcos is present. Nancy is present. My daily is present. Karina present, Salvador present. Okay, just let me update the list. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, my daily is present. Let's see, present. Can you tell me the people? Nancy, Maideli, who else? Okay. Victor. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Now, um, today we are going to have a very interesting topic, and it's about etiquette at the workplace. Yeah, it's important to know about that. So let me know, please, if you can see my screen. Can you see my screen now? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Okay, so we have the topic good etiquette at the workplace. What is the class objective? The students will be able to provide oral and written instructions and guide about etiquette in the workplace. Instructions and guidelines. So we have the following agenda. Uh, let's see, Marlon, could you please read the activities in the agenda, please? First teacher, well, warm up. Let's learn about good manners. Vocabulary about etiquette, good etiquette at the workplace and creating an etiquette manual. Wrap up. Excellent. Thank you. So all the classes about etiquette. Let's see. Let's start with, let's learn about good manners. Good manners are actions that are considered ethic or uh, polite. Mm -hmm. So guys, I'm going to show you. Let's go to, uh, I'm going to show you a page. And I will send you the, 
I will send you the, the link so that you can um, go to this website and also post your post your your comment. Okay. Just let me send you let me send you the, the link. Give me a second. I will send you the link in the in the chat. Then you go to this website and you are going to be able to um, to uh, post your your opinion. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna give you the chat. I'm gonna put it on the chat. Just let me do something first. Have you ever used the, well, you will see if you have already used this before. Please try to try to enter the link in the chat or I will also send it in the WhatsApp group if you are connecting from, from your cell phone or computer. Solo esos cuatro cuadritos son teacher. Yes, yes, but okay, let me let me show you the so it work, right? Lo pueden ver, verdad? You can see it in, in... Yes. okay. I will share the screen so you can see what you're doing. Can you see? Uh -huh. So we have four boxes. What are you going to do? You are going to, you can, um, you can uh, click on this uh, symbol. And when you click on this symbol, you can create a, a note, okay? You write something, your opinion, and then you publish, and that's it. Okay, here I have this, uh, this is like a, let's say a quiz. Give me your opinion, please. You can post your opinion on, the, on this, this is called Padlet. If you arrange to meet someone at, at a certain time, you find it. Number one, option one, normal to arrive 10 minutes late. Option two, rude not to be on time. Option three, normal to arrive 30 minutes late. What is the correct option? Number two. Number one. Okay, uh, Matias says it's normal to arrive 10 minutes late. Yes. Okay. Who said number two? No, I heard someone say it number two. I think number two. No, okay. uh, number two. You find it rude not to be on time. Okay. Yes, that is a correct, that is a correct answer. It's rude, it's not polite, it's not ethic to, to be late, right? It's rude, it's rude not to be on time. So if you're gonna have, okay, thank you, Alfredo. If you have a meeting with someone, you have to be there five minutes before the time uh, you have uh, arranged, you have, uh -huh, uh, yes, plan to see each other. Or if you are late, you can call the person, right? And explain that you are going to be late, okay? What about the other one? The other one is someone next to you sneezes. Ah, okay, what do you do? You ignore it, you say bless you, or you say cheese. Number two. 
Number two, you Number say two. bless you, right? Okay. Yeah, some people have that. Okay, number two. What about the next one? What do you do when you meet a friend or a relative? What do you do? We have, we have these um, options. Number one, you shake hands. Number two, you kiss them on the cheek or you hug them? Number three. ¿Qué dice Eda? Number three. Yes. ¿Qué dice? Number one. You hug them. When you, you meet them. a friend, a friend or a relative, un amigo o un pariente, what do you do? You shake hands, se dan la mano, you kiss them on the cheek, or you hug them. Maybe all Number the one. <laughs> Number one. Number one. Number one. Ok, entonces cuando, cuando Alba ve a su amiga, le da la mano. Number one. Es que de, depende, <laughs> dicho. <laughs> but it's your friend or it's your mother, your father, your uncle, your aunt. He's a chick. <laughs> Nancy says, because of the yes. pandemic, teacher. <laughs> now pen, only teacher. with the elbow. The French. You greet with the elbow. Okay. So when you meet a friend or a relative, well, we usually hug them, right? But because of the pandemic, we are not doing that anymore. Only with the elbow, you say hello. <laughs> but normally when you meet a friend, well, when I meet my friends, I hug them and I kiss them on the cheek. Okay. Teacher, ¿qué significa you hug them? Hug. Mm -hmm. I have... <laughs> hug. Yeah, I have nobody here to hug, that's why, but um abrazar, hug. I'm gonna hug my computer, but you can see it. <laughs> okay, so that is the meaning. Okay, what about the other one? What do you do when you meet someone for the first time in a formal situation? Okay, so this is formal situation. You shake hands, se dan la mano, you kiss them, mwah, mwah, you shake or, hand. or you bow. Number one. Like Asian people. Number one. And what is number, number one? one. You number one. Shake you hands. shake hands. Yes, you shake hands. Oh, nice to meet you, teacher you Rocio. Nice to meet you too. Okay. Yes. Very good. Thank you guys for your opinions. <laughs> Thank you for your opinions. Okay. Now, guys, there is a video about etiquette. So let me see if we can watch it. Guys, can you see the screen? No. No. Not. Yeah, I can see that. I think there's a problem here with the video. Okay, let's let's continue with the other part of the class. Maybe later we can watch it. Uh, these are um, ways in which you can show good manners. Buenos modales, modales. Okay. For example, compliment a coworker who received a promotion. 
felicitar a un compañero que recibió un ascenso. You can say, Kevin, congratulations on your promotion. Uh -huh. Wish you all the best. I wish you all the best. So that is, that is something you can tell a coworker a core worker who's, who has received a promotion. Okay, how can you be, how can you be cautious to someone? ¿Cómo puede ser este cortés con alguien? Opinions? I don't know. <laughs> Any idea? Congratulations. Only. Okay, this is another situation. This was another one. Being cautious to someone. ¿Qué le puede decir a alguien? Good, good morning. Okay, greeting. You can say, uh, good morning, Mr. Gonzalez. How are you this morning? Okay. Or you can say, hello, Matias. How are you doing? How do you feel today? Okay. I'm well. Mm. Okay. How yeah. can you be gentlemanly? Ser gentil, caballeroso. How? What can you say? Well, you can open the door to someone and say, get in, okay? That could be, no, you can hold the door. Offer help. You can offer help, pretty good. You can give the seat, excellent, Marco David. Yes, you can offer your seat. Please have a seat or take my seat, okay? Um, Use excuse me to tell someone to stop being rude. How can you do that? This is very difficult because if someone else is being rude, maybe you can say, excuse me, but um, maybe we can talk about another topic or maybe we can do or just leave, right? And as Carlos Walberto said, you can offer assistance or help. So here you can see some rules, a list of rules of etiquette. Which ones apply to your country? How some rules change over the last two de decades? So we have the first one. The first one is very easy, very funny because it's burping, burping at the table. Imagine you are eating with your co-workers and suddenly someone burps. Like, I, I cannot do it, guys. <laughs> but it's um, like, imagine you have drunk Coca-Cola and that is, you know, it has gas. It's a carbonated uh, drink. So it, it can make you burp. Do you understand what it is, burping? It's like, I, I cannot do it. <laughs> I cannot do it, but I don't know if you understand. Yes, we do. Okay, uh, so burping, can somebody say what is it? Eruptar. Okay. Burping at the table. Well, in Asian countries, it's good manners. When you burp, you show that you like the food, but that is in Asian countries, not in our country, not in America. Can somebody read uh, what happens? In the USA, it is considered bad manners. Can somebody, do we have a volunteer to read? Walter Daniel, would you like to read? at the table. In the USA, it is considered bad manners to work on the table. 
uh, told some people in a set the behavior is behind of okay. Working in public is another story. It's considered good behavior and my world time suggest not doing it in gym pass it was less acceptable over time however i think people have become more tolerant of the behavior especially the younger gener generation yeah so what happens if you are eating with your co-workers and someone burps how do you feel or what do you think about that? What's your opinion? You can also write it on the chat or you can, or you can say your comment orally. Fatima, how do you feel if somebody works at the table when you are having lunch, for example? I think it's, it will not be good for me. Okay, <laughs> you will I feel can, offended. I can think it, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, thank you for your opinion. What about Carlos Walberto? What happens if someone's born? Is it a, is it a problem yeah. for you? <laughs> Uh, for me, no, but for other person, maybe. <laughs> so it is not a problem. Uh, but for I, you. I think so. <laughs> no, uh, I think so. Uh, it's a root. It's a little bit rude. In this country, yes, in this country, it's true. It's true. Okay, thank you. You wouldn't do it if your boss is there, right? Or your supervisor or an important person in the company, or the teacher is there. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, what about this other situation? Putting your feet up on a table or a chair. Like you can see here, this person is at work and, and this person has the, the feet up on the desk. Is it? Is it good manner or bad manner? Bad manner. Bad manners, exactly. Well, I don't do it at work, but I do it at home. <laughs> right? Okay, so let's say that- Yes, it's because it depends on the, of the place that you are. Exactly. Yeah, you, you, it's not good manners to do it yeah. at work. Can you imagine Fatima yeah. in the office doing that? <laughs> no, it's not acceptable. <laughs> it's not acceptable, yeah, I imagine. Very good. What about this one? Arriving late to meet friends. Is it considered good manners or bad manners? Bad manners. Arriving late to meet friends in our country. A bad manner, but it usually happens <laughs> yes. in our country. <laughs> I think it's and if we explain thing. the reason, and if we explain the reason, we came late, so I think we can understand. We can understand. Yeah, but we usually, we usually, well, if we are late, we usually tell the person, right? Hey, I'm, I'm. Yeah. I'm late. We advise. Sorry for that. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But what happens if you don't call or if you don't send a message and the person is waiting and waiting and waiting for you? How will that person feel? 
angry. <laughs> Very angry. <laughs> hey, yeah. para you. Yes, that's true. So yes, it's not good man. In United States, uh, this is, is considered bad manners. I mean, in our country, it's like a little bit acceptable. Even we say, hora salvadoreña, hora normal, because mm -hmm. we know the Salvadorian people are always late running but yes. it's part of our culture but in united states no american people are very punctual so this is very important what about sweating in public uh -huh. sweating in public you can see it in the picture sweating is saying those forbidden words Can you see it in the picture? What do you say, sweating? Sweating. Sweating. It's saying those words that are not, that are forbidden, the forbidden words. It's bad. It's bad, bad, man manners. bad manners. Yes. Bad manners, okay. <laughs> Yes, right, because you wouldn't use those words in our class. And what about at work? Do you do you swear at work? No. Okay, good. What about Alba? Or Marlon. Yes, teacher. Do you swear in public? No, I don't. At home? Even, even if it is in a private place. Maybe with the with the stress we can say maybe one of two, but <laughs> but not normally. No, that's a lie. Okay, what about the legal? Do you swear in public, Domingo? Do you say bad words, forbidden words, nasty words? Like, well, in the Spanish, they start with P, right? Or with C, but usually with P. In my world, it's common. <laughs> it's common. <laughs> yeah, in some workplaces, I mean, the co workers. Yeah, I mean, now it's, it's more acceptable. Pero no correcto. But it's not correct. <laughs> okay, it's not good manners. But do you, I mean, would you use those, that language with your supervisor or boss? Hey, boss. Or your boss uses that language, uses that language. <laughs> okay, I, I don't, I mean, in my personal opinion, I don't like being surrounded with people who swear. I don't like. But I have, I have a, a co-worker. Well, I, I shouldn't, I shouldn't talk about her, but she uses sometimes. She sometimes swears and it's like, oh. <laughs> I mean, I don't feel comfortable. Okay, what about the other one? Putting your elbows on the table while eating a meal. Is it considered bad manners or good manners? Bad manners. By eating like this, right? Good morning. Manner. Well, bad manner. <laughs> yeah, in public is bad manners, but <laughs> when you were at home, bad manners. Relax. <laughs> relax. <laughs> relax. Exactly. Okay, thank you for giving your opinions.
Okay, let's continue. Now, guys, uh, I'm going to read this for, to you. Please don't fall asleep. <laughs> wake up, wake up. Um, I'm going to read it for, to you and please pay attention to the pronunciation, okay? Because later on, you're going to read it in your groups. Good etiquette at the workplace. There are many workplace etiquette guidelines, but the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you had an emergency, that is okay. However, habitual latecomers are never appreciated in any organization. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guideline will be to call the concern authority and report the reason why you are late. Etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge or the workplace email etiquette of other countries. In the official emails, you need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. You also need to include all the important details. You should use formal and grammatically correct language for emails. In addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisors. Listen to what they say carefully and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear. When you speak to avoid wrong interpretations. Etiquette guidelines are important even when you are celebrating with your coworkers. If you get a call when you are eating, say, excuse me, and then receive the call. Do not talk loudly while eating. And remember to close your mouth when you chew. You should remember that your behavior and manners are under observation. Following etiquette guidelines can play a very vital role for future promotions. Do you have any questions about uh, the pronunciation of some words or phrases? Hello. Again, pronunciation. For you, need repeat or I didn't understand, Domingo. What did you say? He wanted you read again, teacher. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will do it for everybody. Try to read with me, okay? Okay. But I mean with your your microphone your mic uh -huh, muted. Thank you. There are many workplace etiquette guidelines, but the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you had an emergency, that is okay. However, habitual latecomers are never appreciated in any organization. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guideline will be to call the concerned authority and report the reason why you are late. Etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace email etiquette of other countries. In the official emails, you need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. 
You also need to include all the important details. You should use formal and grammatically correct language for emails. In addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisors. Listen to what they say carefully and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretations. Etiquette guidelines are important even when you are celebrating with your coworkers. If you get a call when you are eating, say, excuse me, and then receive the call. Do not talk loudly while eating and remember to close your mouth when you shoot. You should remember that your behavior and manners are under observation. Following etiquette guidelines can play a very vital role for future promotions. Is now better, Domingo? Yes. <laughs> okay. Now, according to the article, we have to uh, answer the following questions. If you know you are late, what should you do? Compensate the time, call the person you report to, or not do anything about it? Letter, Letter B, B, call the person you report to. Exactly, yes, that is the correct. Mm -hmm. So you call your boss or your supervisor or manager, etc. Number two, what is a tip to apply in official emails? Send the email in English, use a long salutation or express the subject clearly. Express the subject clearly. Very good. Don't sleep, teacher. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am also <laughs> I am also tired, like you. Very good. So I know. now, <laughs> now let's see what are you going to do. Which is not good etiquette when talking on the phone. We have we have more uh, situations. Uh, Fatima, could you please read number three? Okay. Which is not good etiquette when talking on the farm? Speak letter A, speak using clear voice. Letter B, interrupt the other speaker. Letter C, use polite language. What do you mm -hmm. think, people? Which is not good etiquette, not good etiquette. Letter B, interrupt the- Letter B, call. yes. Interrupt the other speaker, B. excellent. Okay. Matias, can you please read number four, situation number four? Okay, number four. If you receive a call while while you're eating with coworker, you should uh, uh, letter A ignore the call and continue eating. Letter B answer the call at the table. Letter C leave the table and answer the call. And let us see, leave the table and answer the call. Okay. Uh, Alfredo also agrees with you. He says that according to the article, you can leave the table, you can say, excuse me, and answer the call. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Okay, now it's time to work. 
you are going to work in groups of three and you have to write down five etiquette rules you find in the article. So you are going to read the article, you are going to take turns to read the article, and then you are going to write down five rules that are in the article, okay? Mm -hmm. Karina, ¿qué vamos a hacer, Karina? Is Karina there? I saw her. Not sé si me equivoco muy bien, pero creo que es este etiquetar cinco roles que hace uno diario, creo. Estamos hablando de la etiqueta, ¿verdad? En el lugar de trabajo también hay etiqueta para comer, etiqueta para recibir a las personas, etiqueta para hablar por teléfono, etiqueta para enviar correos electrónicos, como aprendíamos ayer. But today, in the article, eh, it's like in general. Etiquette at the workplace. So first, in your group, you take turns reading. You read the article. You read. Then you are going to summarize or write down five etiquette rules you find in the article. Van a escribir cinco reglas de etiqueta que están en el artículo, en el texto, ¿verdad? No las van a inventar. Son las que están allí. Después vamos a hablar de otras. Pero right now, you have to identify five etiquette rules, ¿ok? Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing is that, uh, well, I will give you some times and later I will take you things. I don't know if you are going to take a picture or a screenshot of the of the article. Good etiquette at the workplace. Hello. Yeah. Este, uh, I found. And the first paragraph, uh, three etiquette, punctual, responsive, responsive, responsible, respect, respect. Okay. Respect. You can do it or you can write it uh, with, with using the structure you should, you should. You should be punctual. You should be punctual. You should be, you should call if you are late. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't interrupt other people when they talk on the phone, etc. Okay, now I'm going to assign your group. Please get in the groups.
Porque está uno que es la puntualidad en el trabajo. Ajá, decía si llega a tiempo a la oficina, creo que era, ¿va? Llega. Cuando dice, uh, I, if you are late because and you are, no, no, es más adelante. Sí. Eh, habitualmente. Sería bueno, primero, perdón, que lean el artículo, que se lo dividan. Lo ah, va. Y después, no, vale. ah. y después sacan lo, los the five rules, ¿ok? Ok. Dice, sí, yo tengo un problema, que no tengo oh, este, un teléfono para tomar el squish. Ah, Por, no, ah, no sé. Porque el que bueno. tengo ahorita lo estoy utilizando para la clase, no tengo cómo tomar el foto. Eh, y está en el grupo, tiene el WhatsApp ahí. Sí, aquí lo tengo, pero lo tengo en, la, en el teléfono que estoy utilizando ahorita. Pero lo puede ver solo si cierra la cámara. Creo que se le cierra la cámara, pero creo que sí puede verlo siempre. Sí, solo se cierra la cámara y lo, lo ve. Sí, se pero sale y lo puede, puede meterse a otra aplicación. Ah, bueno. Sí, en el WhatsApp no lo puede ver. Ah, no tiene ningún WhatsApp. Pero voy a intentar, es que no tengo el teléfono. Ah, pero, y si lo comparto aquí en la, en la pantalla. Sí, también. Sí. A ver si lo puedo hacer. Pero si no, si no, si no lo Pruebe hoy. Try. Lo ve. To include all the important detail. You should mention the subject clearly in the emails. Remember guys that you can take turns reading the paragraph, the article, so that you can practice your, your, your pronunciation. We have, we have to read first the 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 article teacher. Yes, read first. Okay, and how okay. we are going to read by paragraph? By paragraph. Or, mm -hmm. okay. You can divide the paragraphs. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, I will start with the first paragraph. Good etiquette at the workplace. There are many uh, you will be late y respetar la organización you respect the organization respect the organization um, call the concerned authority llamar a, a la autoridad con, concerniente mm -hmm. para reportar la razón por qué va tarde uno Mm -hmm. Guys, I don't know if you read the article first. It will be good if you take turns reading so you practice your pronunciation skills and reading comprehension. Yes, we are on that teacher. Uh, Marcos read the first paragraph and, I mean, and Jose Matias is going to read the second one. Okay. Uh, etiquette. Okay, etiquette is also important when you have Hello Alba, are you alone? Hello, solo estoy. 
Ah, oh, because the Estoy other... intentando buscar las cinco. Okay. Or would you like to change room? No, no, si quiero, déjeme aquí. Or let me see if somebody else can be with you. Let me check the other groups, okay? Esa, no le comprendí ahorita lo que me dijo. Let me check the other, the other group so that maybe someone can work with you. Someone from the other groups. ¿Me quiere pasar a otro grupo? No, le voy a mandar a alguien. Ah, <laughs> okay. Sandra, can you please work with Alba? Sandrita, uh, maybe Alba and you take turns reading the paragraphs, the article. And then you write the five rules. Sandrita. <laughs> Hola, teacher. Es que está lloviendo y tengo mala la señal. Ok. Um, and right now, why don't you try? Why don't you try to read the article with Alba? Intente. Intent, tal vez le funciona el internet ahorita. Para leer el artículo con Alba. Ok. Tiene la, la, la captura de la imagen. Espérenme. Let me share it. No, me la podría mandar al bar. Sí. Aquí, aquí está. Y ya la puso. ¿Me la dio? Sí. Ok. Mm. Bueno, ni sé yo. They are many right. workplaces, ethical, gilden, good, the Line. most important. Guidelines. ¿Eh? Guidelines. Sí. Guidelines, but the most important is to be punctual to your office in you are letter because you had an emer, emergency, emergency, no, emergency, 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 emergency. That's okay. Home hour, habitual lay, comer are never appreciated, appreciated, appreciating. Appreciate. 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 Appreciating. In any organization. 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 In you get to your office on time. You should 
you show that you are responsible and you respect the orga organization. Organization. You, mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't Organization. 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 And you know that you will be late. That's a good etiquette. Gillen. Guideline. 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 Will be to help the concerned authority and report this reason. We, you are late. Why? The reason why you are late. Why you are late. Thank you. Sandra. Sandrita, you are muted. El micrófono. El micrófono, Sandra. Yeah. And she said this also is how to communicate with employees or clean in any part of the world. In those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace in May, etiquette of other country in the official in May, you need to mention the subject clearly and be conscious. You also need to include all the important details. You shall use formal and grammatical correct language for email. In addition, knowledge. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Knowledge. 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 Yes. Knowledge. On telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We had to speak on the telephone at some point during or daily work. Be polite when you tell to your employees or your supervisor, listen to what they say carefully and do no interrupts. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretation. Sandra. Sandrita. Sandra. A mí. Solo nosotros dos estamos. Ah, okay. Etiquette are important even when you are celebrating with your power career. If you get a call when you are 80, say excuse me and then receive the call. Do not talk alone with eating and remember to close your mom when you chew. Chew you should when you remember chew. that you. Finish. You sure? no. <laughs> Remember that you disable and manager and under observation following etiquette with a need um, very yeah. and very and very vital only for future promotion. Finish. Finish. Thank you. Okay, please repeat after me. Guidelines. 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 Emergency. Guidelines. Emergency. 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 Organization. 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 
Organization. Organization. Knowledge. 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 Grammatically or grammatically. 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 Concise. 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 Conciso, right? Concise. Clients. 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 Um, let me see. Another word. Do you remember anyone that was difficult for you? Oh, no? Any other? <laughs> Any other word? Help me. Employees. Employees. Responsible. 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 Appreciated. 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 Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Miren, esta es una A. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Excellent. You got it. Yes, Salva. You got it. Very good. Okay. Organization. Organization. Guidelines. Guidelines. Mouse. Mouth. 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 Yes. Vaya, lo que voy a hacer es pasar la, la asistencia y luego los vuelvo a poner en el, mm. los el grupo. En el grupo, sí. Okay, guys, um, can you please raise your hand if you finished everything? Did you finish? Raise your hand if you finished. No. <laughs> Only one, okay. Uh, but um, I'm going to take the attendance and then you will continue working in your group. So please say present or say here. Let's begin. Alba de Nora Vines. Present. Alfredo Rodas. Oyente, present, dice ahí en el chat. Yes, he is present, but just kidding. Eh, Carla Maritza Sánchez. También dice present. Thank chat. you, thank you, Matías. Eh, Carlos Gualberto. Present, teacher. Cristina Romero. Oyente, en chat. Domingo González. Present, teacher. Fátima Portillo. Present teacher. Matías Lemus. Present teacher. Karina Espinosa. Estoy en la cepilla ya. Karina. 
Marco Velázquez. Present. Marlon Cardona. Present teacher. Mauricio Majano. Maideli Judith. Nancy Rodríguez. Katia Maritza. Present teacher. Salvador Escobar. Present teacher. Sandra Velázquez. Present. Víctor Salazar Calzadilla. Present. Present. Okay. Mar Walter Daniel González. Present. William Pérez. Creo que William es el que está de oyente o no. Nancy dice oyente. My delivery también. William. No, no lo veo. No, ¿verdad? No está William. No. Mauricio, Mahana. No, he's not. No. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Continue working. Let's continue working with your group. Okay. We have finished, teacher. Oh, that's great, Fatima. <laughs> but still, Fatima, you can practice with your classmates. Okay. I'm going to go and get some more water. I need it. Teacher, you will send the invitation to incorporate to the to the group, to the working group. I'm sorry? Can you, you will repeat, send please? the invitation in again. Can invitation? you send the invitation again to incorporate in the group? Ah, okay. Oh, ah. Uh, yes, I already, I sent it. But uh, do you remember the number of, I'm sorry? Me sacó la plataforma, me desconecté así, así justo veo, cuando así. estaba pasando la asistencia. En las seis creo que estaba T-shirt. Estaba con Carlos o Alberto, creo que se llama, ¿verdad? Ajá, ok. Es la dos. Ah, la dos. <ríe> Soy mala para memorizar. Gracias, T-shirt. You're welcome.
8. Deberías, es, debería es, por eso dice, deberías de, es lo que le he agregado, Jun Shu. Teacher, entonces, a, que, a las oraciones que encontramos, hay que agregarle Jun Shu, deberías. Sí, lo pueden escribir de esa manera. Uh -huh. Porque yo lo había copiado, las, por ejemplo, eh, I you have the, your office on time. If you know, know that you are responsive, you should be punctual, you should listen carefully to those who speak to you, you should say, Excuse me, when you get a uh, Así como lo ha escrito Alexander, Alfredo Alexander. No, he visto como lo ha escrito. Está en el chat, no va. Yes, it's in the chat. Antes de los present, present, present. Ah, ok. Ya la voy a buscar. Ah, were you, were, were you sure to be puntual a word? You sure to mention the sujeto click, flirting or the mail? Esas. Ok. Yeah, but you can write the rules like that. You should, you should. Mm -hmm. You too. Ah, ok. Entonces las you preguntas too. hay que ponerle esa palabra para completar. Ajá, 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 sí. You too. Ya he sacado dos y se la puedo enviar. You, sería you too. Acá están bien las que le pasó a ella también. Le agrega esas. Para complementar las cinco. Ajá, ahí tenemos más de cinco. Ajá. Para que tenga las cinco. You should, you should listen to what they say carefully and do not interrupt. Hi, teacher. Hi. We are. We are here. The, the sentences in the in the chat. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Because we want that everybody copy. Ah, okay. <laughs> in their notebook. <laughs> oh, Carlos says you should be polite when Maybe. you your <laughs> supervisor. Very good. Maybe you will ask to to any of of this grouping. All of us has to to know the the five group. <laughs> the teacher don't listen that don't say that <laughs> I'm sorry what did you say nothing teacher my, my nothing. teacher nothing <laughs> I have four years old and We are discussing a verb. Discussing what? What verb we have to use? Oh, you can you can use you should. The structure you should. You should be or you should. You should be punctual. You should be polite. You should. State the subject clearly when writing email. You should be punctual. You should be punctual. Guys, can you hear the rain? 
No, pero así como lo quiere teacher, creo que está. You should be responsible. Responsible. Porque sí, ese sería otro. You should be punctual. En el primer párrafo. En el you primero, ajá. When you... ¿Qué? Punctual. To your office. When you respect the organization. No. No sería... Decía, you, be you should respect, respect. You should be... Respect the organization. Ahí sería, you should respect the organization. Pero uh -huh. eso es, but that is very general. Try to be more specific. Mm -hmm. If you if you are punctual and you are right on time, you show respect to the organization or institution. All right. Another uh, a rule would be if you are late, call call your supervisor or boss to explain the reason why you are late. That would be another one. How is it going, Alba? Are you about to finish? No, todavía no. Yes, Alfredo says yes. Victor, I have a question for you, Victor. I don't know if you can stay uh, 10 minutes after class in the session, 10 minute session. Let me know, Victor, if you can stay, okay? Please. Okay, guys, can you share, please, your rules, the rules that you found? Maybe because of the rain, uh, it's, a, it's a little bit difficult to hear you, but maybe you can write them on the chat. I will be reading, I will be reading you.
Very good, guys. Thank you for all your comments. I've been reading them. You should be polite when you receive a call, when you are eating. You should respect when the elders speak, okay, Mauricio? Walter, you should not talk loudly while eating. You shouldn't open your mouth when you are chewing. Imagine you are eating like this. That's not good manners, okay? You have to close your mouth when you are eating. Alba says, do not talk loudly while eating and remember to close your mouth when you chew. Okay, good job, Alba. Now guys, let's continue with the next activity. What are you going to do now? Now, guys. I hope that you can see my screen. Now, in, in your group, you are going to create a manual, etiquette manual year 2021. Okay, in this manual, um, you are going to pull your rules. For example, greet everyone in the facility. Or guys, can you see my screen? Yes, yes sure. sure. Okay. Thank you. You have been very quiet today. Why is that? Are you sleepy? Are you tired? Are you sad? Tired. You're tired. Yeah, I know. So uh, imagine you are in charge of a group that is going to visit another company to make an alliance. Write a short etiquette manual for your colleagues. Entonces, imaginen que están a cargo de un grupo que va a visitar otra compañía para hacer alianzas estratégicas. Escriba un eh, manual de etiqueta corto para sus compañeros. ¿Qué, qué deben hacer para to show good manners, to be polite? So you're going to create the etiquette manual year 2021. And you can start with this. Greet everyone in the facilities. What other things do you have to do? Okay, so you're gonna write the etiquette. And um, again, I'm going to assign groups, but this time it's gonna be different, different person to work with, okay? And you will have 10 minutes to create the manual. And then we are going to share the manual with other classmates, with other groups. And that's it for today, guys. Almost, we almost finished. This is almost the last activity.
is the same like with the phrases that we wrote before, right? For example, to be uh -huh. punctual, the salutation. Responsible. Yes. yes, but this time try to be more specific. You are going to visit another company. So what are the good manners that you have to show? Oh, okay. Thanks. So you're going to create a manual for your colleagues for this important visit. Okay. Yeah, just okay. for the visit. Interview, maybe or create a smart talk. Uh, yeah, you can start a, a, a friendly conversation. Yeah, for that working. Okay. Well, in this case, Carlos, I think the first is going to be maybe obviously the greetings. Greeting the person that uh, that is going to five example. Teacher. Alba está solita otra vez. Pues sí. Siempre me dejaba de famita. Pero yo le di volver, volver a crear a los grupos y siempre la puso igual, mire. <risa> la voy a mover. Ok. Hello, Matias. Are you working alone or is or have you communicated with my daily? Hey, I think it's a video. Hey, I have to pay the camera. I didn't see it. Sorry. Hello, Matias. 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 Okay. Hice cuatro, teacher. Four. Can yes. you share with me? Okay. La voy a decir. Please. Okay. Uh, después de great, everyone. Great, everyone. Uh, in the, in the facility, facility. Uh, pues, uh, everyone talk only about the agreed topic. Uh -huh. La siguiente, ¿cómo se dice siguiente, Tisha? The next, next one. one. The next one. Next one, okay. Um, everyone should be attentive to any question. Excellent. Uh, 
la siguiente puse if anyone has a, has a question raise your hand first before asking the question very good raise your hand uh -huh. raise, raise your, your hand. hand raise your hand hand raise uh, your hand. raise your hand yes okay y la última all before leaving polite politely mm -hmm. say goodbye say goodbye okay yeah that was a very nice i would include another one like for example do not chat during the meeting sí no sí hay hay un montón tichi yo sé que hay un montón sí porque se puede decir eso de que no hay que estar chateando en la reunión que no hay que que mientras puede ser verdad que mientras estemos en reunión no hay que ir al baño porque oh. se puede perder alguna información que se yo si hay que aguantarse <risa> <risa> no me ya, ya me ha pasado ya me ha pasado de que en, en una en una nos estaban explicando algo importante de, de, okay. de la de la were explaining something important ajá eh, eh, sobre printing about printing eh, and production of machine my machine okay that's it only that <laughs> <laughs> okay yes yeah sometimes it's difficult to to uh to concentrate to focus Ajá, cabal, cabal. Yes, focus. Eh, pay attention. Yeah. At the meeting. Very good. Yes. <laughs> okay. Eh, yes, hay muchas. La cosa There are es, many rules. Yes. La cosa es entender lo que estamos haciendo. Yo creo que hasta ahorita ya vamos, ya vamos agarrándole. Porque yeah. yo estaba perdido. Really? Sí, Marlon me ayudó porque yo le dije de que yo no le entendía muy bien a lo que usted me estaba, a lo que, al, al tema. No a lo okay. que usted decía, sino que al yeah, tema. Yeah, ok, the etiqueta. La Ajá, etiqueta. La etiqueta, eso, eso. Exactly. Yo no le entendía. Eh, eh, yo, le, yo le estaba en el paragraph, yo le estaba sacando solo las, las partes. Por ejemplo, en punctual, habitual late, mm. responsible, eh, careful. O sea, yo le estaba sacando solo la, 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 las cosas, ¿verdad? Pero él me dijo de que no era eso, sino que era lo que en sí significaba. Eh, o sea, lo que había que hacer en mm. cuanto al momento. Man. Entonces mm. ahí fue donde yo ya capté un poquito mejor. Okay. Porque sí, yo, yo, yo estaba un poco. Bad. <laughs> no, maybe confused. Ajá. Uh -huh. yes. That is normal. That can happen to anyone. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you for sharing. I think it's time to. I'm going to give just one more minute and then we're going to go back to the main session. Okay. The main room. Okay.
Okay, thank you guys. <laughs> okay. Thank you. So can you please share with me, with the class, your manual? Or maybe let's do something, guys. Um, oh, thank you, Alfredo. I'm gonna read Alfredo's chats. Give away, or give way when someone carries something heavy. Lower your elbows from the table when eating. Do not use the cell phone while you are eating. Say thank you when they give you something. Greet when you answer a call. Okay, very good. Okay, guys, now can you please share with the class your manual, maybe one or two rules that you wrote in your manual, please? Can I have some volunteers? If not, I'm going to choose victims. Walter Daniel, please share with us. You should motivate teamwork. Um, you should be responsible. Um, you should be leader. You should respect. Okay. Thank you, Walter. Can you choose a person, Walter, please? Um, Walberto. Okay, Walberto, Carlos, Walberto. Yes, teacher. <laughs> Can you share the rules with us, please? Okay. Uh, greeting with the elbow. Uh, with introducing self. Okay. Don't use swearing words. Yes, it's very important. Do not use swear words. Don't, don't interrupt when a person is talking in a conversation. Okay, very good. Talk respectfully other person. Yes. Listen, listen carefully the conversation with the colleague. Congratulations, you did a pretty good job. Okay, guys, thank you for sharing. I know that you've been interacting with your classmates. Now, guys, it's time for the wrap-up. In the wrap-up, you have to complete the quiz as a whole class and review some of the terms and guidelines this going. Oops. Okay, here I have a situation and I have the, the possible answers, so the possible correct answer. So I would like someone to read the situation and the answers, the options. Please, thank you. Quien dijo yo voy a leer? Right. If not, I'm gonna choose one person. Marco, I mean, please read the situation. The situation. Complete the following quiz as has as a world class to review some of the terms and give an guidelines. Guideline excuse. When you are introducing yourself, which name you should you should say A, your full give name, Jenna Maria Bolton, B, both 
your full given name and and the name you like to be called called be if it's different from your first name jenna mary walton but ever john call me jen see the name the name you want to no the name you want to other person to call you be and your uh, last name jen bolton okay so which do you think is the correct option guys let us see <laughs> okay <laughs> the name you want the other person to call you by and your last name uh-huh so when you are introducing yourself you say oh nice to meet you my name is rocio chica that's it yeah it's not important we why? Because we don't have a lot of time to say, oh, my name is like, like, like Katia. Right? <laughs> Three names, Rocio, Katia, Maritza, Martin, Subia. That's, that's going to be too long. Yeah, and, and people will remember everything. The, the people just need one name, one last name, and that's it. Yeah, so introductions happen quickly. And it's often hard to catch the other person's name. For that reason, stick with the form of your first or middle name you like the other person to use. Okay, second situation, the next situation. When is the most gracious time to respond to an invitation? Uh, option A, within 24 hours of receiving the invitation. B, within one week of receiving the invitation. Or C, any time before the respond by day listed on the invitation. So what is, I mean, being polite and etiquette, using the etiquette, what is the correct options? The correct option is, Respond Let to an invitation. B. Great. Lady. One week? C. Mm, any other any other opinion? Better B. Better, 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 Better B. A. A. Better A. A. Okay. Raise your hand if you said letter A. Mm. 20 hours. Oops. Okay, let me <laughs> let me show you the correct answer. Oops, sorry. It's answer A between 24 hours. Yeah. It seems like responding within 24 hours doesn't give you much time, but that's the whole point of doing it so quickly. You see, receiving an invitation is an honor. Even if it's to an event, you'd rather not attend. So responding quickly repays the honor. So that's very important. To respond quickly to invitations, okay? Do not wait until the last moment. Okay, guys. Um, so tell me, what new words in the chat? I'm gonna write some questions in the chat and you can give your opinions there, okay? Uh, tell me five new words you learn today, vocabulary. Tell me the new words you learn today. Please write in the chat, participate, give your opinion. Mouth, okay, mouth, shoe, masticar, shoe, learn, okay. How to use etiquette for work, environment, 
Okay. Greeting. Mm. Yeah. Knowledge. Sweating. Yes, that's a that's a, a new one and very important. Right? Now you know how to say same bad words in English is swearing. Swearing. Carefully, knowledge, wrong. Wrong is that is not correct. Don't put the elbows on the table when you are eating, okay? Be sure. What's also new for you? Guidelines, okay? Yeah, following. You see, that's why it's important to learn to read in English. Loudly. It's important to read because when you read, you learn a lot of things. You learn new words. Okay, guys, thank you so much. However, carefully listen to your coworker. Thank you so much, guys. I'm going to take the attendance for the last time, but I would like to know if Victor can stay. No sé si Victor se puede quedar para la sesión de 10 minutos. Si no, vamos a, a ver quién, quién no la ha tenido y, y está disponible para hacerlo porque Victor está de oyente. No sé quién hace, quién le gustaría tenerla hoy que no la haya tenido hoy. O si Víctor no está disponible. But please tell me something. Other person. I'm sorry? Other person. Okay, Victor says that he's working. So maybe another person. Creo que... Bueno, Salvador está enfermo. Cristina Roxana creo que tampoco ha tenido sus 10 minutos, pero no sé si va a poder hoy. Quiero ver. Walter Daniel tampoco, ¿verdad? También está Mauricio, que no han tenido su sesión. Ah, no, Mauricio sí ya la tuvo. Walter Daniel no la ha tenido, ¿verdad? No sé si se puede quedar hoy, Walter. No, teacher, me siento cansado el día de hoy. Lo siento. Ok. <ríe> y Víctor está trabajando y los demás chicos también están de oyentes o están enfermos. ¿Alguien, alguien? Nadie se quiere quedar conmigo hoy. Ok, let's see. Um, Alba Dinora Vides. Ahí dice Víctor que lo vas a dar, teacher. Ah, vaya, thank you. Alfredo, Ross, uh, yeah, he's, he's in the class, but oyente. Carla Maritza Sánchez. Present. <laughs> Carlos Walberto Rodríguez. Present, teacher. Cristina Roxana Romero. Domingo González. Present. Present. Ok. Fátima del Carmen Portillo. Present. José Matías Lemus. Present, teacher. Karina y Amilia Espinosa. Karina y Amilia. Marco David Velázquez Vázquez. Present teacher. Marlon Cardona Valencia. 
Present. Mauricio Mahano. Present, teacher. Maideli Judith. Nancy Rodriguez. Present. <laughs> Rocío Marisa Martínez. Present, teacher. El Salvador Escobar. Present, teacher. Ok, entonces todos dijeron present. Solo alguien faltó, ¿verdad? I don't know. Uh -huh. Sandra Emilet dice present, teacher. Ok, thank you. <laughs> thank you guys for being here this evening. I hope you rest night. well. You too have to dream. Dream have a beautiful day. night. You too, I hope so. Oh, Walter, you have a nice friend there. Your pet, your dog. Okay, guys, good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night, good night. Good night. Good night. everybody. Good night. Good night. Okay, Victor. Hi, teacher. How are you? Um, fine. <laughs> <laughs> you're fine, but you you're working from home. Um, see, problem with a server of company. Oh, you had a problem with a company with a one provider. Eh, un, un rayo cayó ahora y dijo adiós a la computadora. Oh, I'm so sorry for that. Yeah. Sí, por eso no participé en nada porque tengo que dejar listo todo para poder trabajar mañana. Yes, en, en las tres sucursales en las que estamos. Wow. <laughs> you are, you have a lot of work. Yes, it's true. Okay, is there something I can help you, Victor? ¿En qué le puedo ayudar, Victor? For the moment, for the moment todo. Everything is fine. Okay, so maybe we can have some speaking practice. Okay. Can you... Okay, but this time I would like you to make the questions. You make me the questions. Question me hace la pregunta. I'm sorry. Can you repeat, please? Ay, yeah, it's raining a lot. Que usted me va a hacer unas preguntas a mí. Usted como que me va a entrar para conocerme mejor, entrevistarme, algo así. Uh, to okay, practice speaking. You, yes, ask me questions. What is your name? Oh, my name is Rocio Stephanie Chica Guzman. <laughs> so my middle name is Stephanie. What's ah, you the, are Victor David. Victor David Salazar. Calzadilla. Your age? But ask me yes. the question, teacher, how old are you? <laughs> teacher, how old are you? I'm 28 years old. What about you? 28, 28, wow, 37. I'm sorry? 37. 27. Ten more. Oh, 37. You are 37. Okay, 37. Victor, do you have children? Hello? Do you have children, Victor? 
And yes. Okay. How many children do you have? One. Two. Girls. Two. Two. Two girls. Two girls. Oh, that's great. Yes. What are their names? The, 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 the first. The first have uh, um, forty. Forty. The, the nine, first is forty. Fourteen. 14. 14 years old. And 14 years old. In second, 50 years old. 10. 5. 5, oh, five, five. five years old. Oh, she's little. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what are their names? Their name is Jacqueline, the, the first, and Victoria. Okay, so their names are. Uh, I I forgot. Me dijo. Victoria and. La segunda niña. Okay. Thank you. Um. Well, oh my! I am. Yes. I am engaged. Not married yet. Engaged. Engaged. Yes. I'm going to get married in January. <laughs> Thank you, Victor. So we're going to have a party, but only with my family <laughs> because of the coronavirus. In Ahorro. <laughs> Only by by Zoom. We well, yes, with with two chicken finish this. I'm sorry. Con dos gallinas hace la, la comida. Ah. La comida. <laughs> Okay, yes. No, but my family, it's extensive. I mean, it's big. My family is really big. Yeah, oh. and, and my, my boyfriend's family is big too. So we don't need two chickens. Maybe we need a cow. Okay, Victor, and can you tell me about your daily routine? What time do you wake up every day? I, I eh, inicio, ¿cómo es la palabra? I start or I wake up at, ¿a qué hora se despierta, se levanta? I start, es que como... Estoy en la computadora solo igual en inglés. Pasto. Ahí está the activities at seven seven eh, o'clock seven a.m. o'clock and okay. finish and finish after close all 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 sucursales. No. Okay, all the branches of the pharmacy. All the pharmacies. And when we have a problem with person, computer, provider. Oh, Victor, you are freezed. Uh, you were freezed, Victor. Se había congelado, Victor. Yes. Eh, a cada rato me sucede. Yeah. Me está remoto. 
Yeah, I think it's because of the weather. Lately, the weather has been, you know, unpredictable. It's been raining a lot. And that is causing, you know, problems, technical problems with the internet, with the like, electricity, with the traffic. Uh, Victor, do you have any suggestion? Hey, Victor, do you have any suggestion for me? Any recommendation to improve the class? No, ya le tomamos el, el hilo. <laughs> okay, it's almost Solo finished. El, el, the, the change of teacher, the change of teacher uh, fue algo, algo diferente. Veníamos como cierta y de repente como más dinámica. Ah, okay. Yo los, yo Eso los. No nos deja que nos dormamos. <laughs> okay, it's because if not, I am going to fall asleep too. <laughs> so that is good. Ya, yo siento que en, en este momento ya todos agarramos la, la secuencia de, de cómo trabaja. Sí, verdad. Ya casi terminando uh -huh. el curso. <laughs> okay. Ya, por eso ya me, ya me percaté que la mayoría de compañeros ya se, ya se. Ya se adaptaron, sí, es cierto. Ajá. Si hay un nuevo cambio, creo que la misma va a suceder. Hay que acoplarse a la exigencia del nuevo teacher. Yeah, it's because every teacher has its own method. Every teacher has its own Ajá. way of teaching, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, Victor, it was... Ajá. Ajá. Incluso hay palabras que, que varían entre uno y otro, pronunciaciones. Oh, in the pronunciation. Pero... Mm -hmm. Pero... And that happens in real life when you when you talk to people. That's why it's important to have different teachers to to listen to different ways of pronunciation. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's very important. The change. It's important. <laughs> okay, Victor, it was a pleasure. Thanks. Rest well, and I hope everything goes well for you at work tomorrow. I hope everything goes well with your work tomorrow. Oh, thank you. Good, Good night, night, teacher. Good night. <laughs>